Let us solve this cool Olympiad mathematics problem. To solve this, we're going to take the fifth power of both sides. And if we do that, we'll come to a logical conclusion of this question. Now, if we take the fifth power of both sides, the left-hand side will give us 5x to the power of x and all to the power of 5. And the right hand side will be equal to 5 to the power of 5 to the power of 5 and all of these will be to the power of 5. Fine. So if we simplify this, if we want to simplify this, I want us to recall a law of indices. In that law of indices, if we have a to the power of x multiplying the power of y, this can be equal to a to the power of y multiplying the power of x and it can also be equal to a to the power of x multiplied by y so if we apply that to that question if we apply that law of indices to this expression we're going to have this side to become 5x multiplying the power of 5x right if we have this and this will be equal to 5 to the power of 5 all multiplied by 5 to the power of 5. Right? Good. Now, if you look at this expression very well, you come to see that the base are same and the power are same. So in such an equation, if we have x to the power of x, to be equal to a to the power of a then x will be equal to a as long as a is greater than or equal to 1 so from that expression 5x will be equal to 5 to the power of 5 so if we simplify that expression we are going to simply uh, see how we divide both sides by five if we divide both sides by five we'll have this side divided by five and this side dividing by five to the power of one which is still five so this side will give us x to be equal to five to the power of five divided by five to the power of one now check out this law of indices according to that law of indices if we have the value uh, a to the power of x dividing a to the power of y this can be equal to a to the power of x minus y so if we apply that to that expression that expression will now make our x to be equal to 5 to the power of 5 minus 1 and 5 to the power of 5 minus 1 x will be equal to 5 to the power of 4. So the value of x equal to 5 to the power of 4 fully satisfies that exponential equation we have here. Now I want to give you a tax and the tax is take the value of x equal to 5 to the power of 4, insert it into this main expression to see if you actually get the value on the right hand side if you insert it here see if you get this if you do then the value of x equal to 5 to the power of 4 remains the answer of the value of x that truly really satisfies the exponential equation please don't forget to like share this video with your friends and subscribe to our channel for more simplified mathematics solution. Thanks so much for watching and bye-bye.